We're out to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. All right, so Jeff and Missy, yeah. so I have a question for you. you. Both of you have been in theater for a long time, a little while. Yeah. Little while. Do you all have any crazy pre-show rituals, or do you know of people who that you worked with who do? Uh, I don't really. Uh, I have one of my directors for just basic small stuff. I know people do stuff. He'd always have to tap everybody on the left shoulder like I said, it's before just a, the show. Everybody in the cast, he would do that. Um, I don't know if anybody else. No, but the first thing that came to my mind when you said that was actually not a theater thing. It was a, I was taking a class in New York this, this, for a film, and we would do scenes from movies. And you'd get there to class, and there's New York actors laying all over the floor going, Making all this noise, and it's like, um, maybe that works for you, but like, it's really annoying to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. We don't really have a lot of extension for digital. No, I, I have to admit that after all these years, I still get nervous. And so I still say little prayers to the powers that be that I don't screw up. So. Thank you. Very nice. There you go. What are you about you, Dylan? Do you have any crazy pre-show things? I actually don't have any rituals. I like to eat beforehand. That's about it. Like, other than that, I just come in and sit here and have a good time. Weirdly, I've never had to like stay in my character. I can come off stage and go right back to me and then pop into my character when I need to. But it's uh, so no, not many rituals in my area. How about you, Henry? I know you. You, you don't do much. You make sure you eat. That's it. I like eat. You know, you can tell. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That big belly. That big belly. Just like Dylan's. Look at that big belly. <laughs> So, Mark, I'm going to ask you this question while you're putting on your boots. All righty. So, he's getting, ready, he's getting into hickory, putting on his boots or whatever. You've also been doing theater for a pretty good long time. Uh -huh, 35 do you, years. Do you, 35 years. Do you have any crazy or, whether it's crazy or not, pre-show rituals that you go through? Or do you know people that have had some crazy ones that you've worked with? Well, I mean, I know people that have to wear the same... Like, like either like a shirt or like a pair of socks, and they don't like it's like a ritual, so they have to wear it every show, and it has to be the same thing, and they sometimes don't wash it, which is really disgusting. But <laughs> anyway, um, I don't have any rituals. You know? I just come to the theater. I always get early. That's one of my rituals is coming early. Yeah. Because I like to arrive in the theater before other people do, so it gives me that chance to center myself and be ready for the chaos that is now currently going. Going on when everybody yeah. Else arrives late. Yeah. Because right now we are at um, 152, so we are eight minutes before Kurt house opens. Uh, a few minutes before mic check. A few minutes before mic check, and we are uh, so 40 minutes before the show starts. So. Yeah, and I don't like to wait in line to get my mic on. I like to be ready to go. And that way I can just chillax until it's chillax, absolutely. Chillax. All right. We are at intermission of Sunday matinee number two. We have a great crowd. Lots of kids. Full house. Little Dorothy's out there. This kid's name is Carter. It's not important. I'm just kidding. Hey, Carter. I'm the corner. He's the corner. You did great tonight. Thanks. Yeah, you, you nailed it tonight. Good job. And by tonight, I mean this afternoon. And there's Alex again, who does nothing, evidently. No, I do things. I rotate. I'm sorry, I was dying. Um, I rotate the witch. Uh-huh. And, yeah, I... And, like, and you hand me props? I forget. I'm sorry. Okay. She does important things. It's okay. She does really important... Or he does really important things. Alex does some great things but backstage. If we couldn't do it, they weren't there, nothing she would happen. There. Nothing would happen. I'm going to take you backstage... A little bit backstage to hang out. Actually, what I'm doing is I have to go preset some 
props for a second act so you actually won't be able to see me because I'll be in the dark so um, I'm gonna go preset some stuff I'll be right back gun is there net my gun is the gun is set oh I didn't mean to do that gonna set net it's ready Place. All right, so we're gonna go back, back to the backstage. This is a point where I uh, drink a ton of fluid, as you can tell. I'm sweating, so I'm actually gonna have to go reapply some makeup. So we're we're gonna talk to some people on the way. Hey, Charlene. Hey, John. What you doing? Hanging out at intermission. Lollipop. Eating a lollipop. Yeah. Are you in the lollipop guild? No, but right. it's apple flavor. Are you enjoying you enjoying the show so far? We have a great audience tonight. Yeah, they enjoyed your little. They laughed like at you. Laugh they laughed at you. Because she's pretty funny. She's pretty. She's pretty funny looking. So, here we go. Hi, we I'm half Glenda, half Ed Right. Hello. All right. So we're at intermission. Great show. Oh, he's not all silver. No, oh, no. I got my gloves off because right. I'm hot. I have to go into the dressing room and reapply some makeup. So we're gonna go in there. You all get to watch me reapply some makeup. Alright, so. Pop it back. Boom. I feel like I have this great afro, and it makes me look. I think I would look really good with long curly hair. I don't think Mama O'Neill would like that. But. Hey Javon, do you think do you think I should uh, get long curly hair like the like the lion does? Like, do you think I can rock it? Y'all heard it here. Javon said it would be sexy. So. Oh, you were recording. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the spot? Yeah, and it all right there. No, it all sweats off in the front. It all comes off on my hood, so it doesn't really matter that I'm doing this. <laughs> But I do it for the people in the front row who can see up my who can see up my uh, my mask. And guess what? We get to do this all over again when we put our makeup on for some photo shoots today. <laughs> so I'm gonna come. I'm gonna change out to be a farmer. Then come back into this for a curtain call. Then come out of the costume altogether just so I can do the makeup and put it all on, all on again. But luckily. It only takes me about 30 seconds to get on this costume. It is hot out there. Yeah, it is. It's cold back here, but it is hot out there. Oh, I found I found the Dorothy, by the way. She's at the end of House Right. Like you, it's gonna be easy to get to her. But I don't want to scare her. She's really young. She's really young, so we're gonna try not to scare her. But. Alright, and on that note, we're gonna leave and go back. Woo. Oh, hey there. Yeah. I'm missing an eyebrow. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, well, I don't have hair, so we're good. Every day, every day I ask, what if I just go out there like this and people say I would scare the children? It's Barbara. How's everybody doing? She's one of our dressers and fixes all of our costumes if they get broken. And is one is amazing. We can't do it without any of our dressers. We have how many dresses do we have in the show? Three. Three? Three dressers plus Karina's back here. Whew, it's hot out there today. I know y'all are freezing back here, but it is cold. It is. Yeah, well the stage is supposed to be 69 too, but it's just once you get all this on, it's... <laughs> so, pretty much I don't do much during intermission. Um, reapply makeup, which y'all saw me do. I set my props, which I sort of showed you. Um, and then I usually fill up some water, place my water bottle, and uh, then go through King of the Forest. 
Here's Katie. Katie is amazing, and she gives me hugs many, many times throughout the show, and that's what keeps me going. Like at least twenty. And per sometimes, show. and sometimes she ties my shoes. I didn't do that. Oh my gosh, I forgot. All weekend, Katie. All weekend. Oh my gosh. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I probably shouldn't admit that I have other people tie my shoes for me, but it, oh my gosh, it's not then it just okay. makes me feel like a diva and what I'm not. It's I not do okay. it. I, okay. I need it's to okay. Tie no, you need to no, you to tie I need shoes. to tie my shoes because I'm a grown adult and I have to tie my I shoes. I don't care about tying shoes. Um, can you get Riley if she's not busy? Joanna, <laughs> Joanna. Just waiting for Riley. I have a really important question for her. Look at my hair. I'm trying to decide if I want to take my. I have a cooling head piece. Riley, come here. So here's Riley. Riley and Katie, the one from earlier. They uh, do my manicure in Mary Elena Voss. So Riley, I have a really important question for you. Yes. What's your favorite color juice? What is my favorite color juice? Yes. Aesthetic wise, I like a nice like pink, like okay. pink lemonade. Just color. to look at, yeah. Yeah, just to look at. But in at. taste. Taste? Um, well that's not a color. Taste isn't a color. Okay, but which color tastes best? Um I like apple juice. Mm. Definitely not that orange juice cocktail that Henry got me at the cast. I, I enjoy a good um, orange banana strawberry. Where do you What's, Super good. What, where do you get your juice? It's it's the in juice you know the grocery store. Riley and I and our friend Ellsworth we're gonna start a juice store. Um, we are gonna start a juice store. It's gonna be organized by color. <laughs> because sure. um, <laughs> That's we we we, more we than have on we have yes, which has become public. It is now out there. We can officially say that Riley and I are both in Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, oh, no. along with Reagan, one of our Munchkins. Oh, munchkin. And Eleanor, another little munchkin, the tall munchkin. I didn't see your name on this. Who's it now? There's an Ella. She's in it. Yes, it's the same thing. Oh. Um, I don't. I guess she's going by a stage name of Ella now. Ooh. So, but now we can officially say it. First rehearsal tonight. I'm Elf. Q. An hour after we're done with the show. I don't know what Q means. So. Elf Q. So, all right. So I'm gonna go run if I were king. So it's great tonight. I will see you on stage and you on stage. She she, she, turn, she turns my turntable every day. And one little thing that you all won't ever catch, but I will tell you what we do, is when they're holding my hands, right before they do their part, I squeeze both of their hands. And that's, that's showing my love and energy to them for everything they do for me. So, so I do that for them because I love all my people Optimistic in the show. Five. Thank you, Optimistic Five. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard.